Assalamu alaikum students I hope you all are well Today I would like you to take a minute and think about something How did we humans came into being Hum insaan kaise is duniya mein aaye Aur jo janwar aur insects hain wo kya pehle se duniya mein the Did they exist the same way millions of years ago in the prehistoric times as they do now हमें ये तो पता है कि हमारा प्लानट दी अर्थ हैज़ एग्जिस्टेड फॉर बिलियंस एंड ट्रिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स एंड मेनी फॉर्म्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैव रोम्ड प्लानट अर्थ बिफोर द अर्थ दैट वी लिव इन टुडे केम इन टू बीइंग। विद एवरी पासिंग टाइम द एटमॉस्फेयर इज चेंजिंग एंड इट हैज़ बीन कॉन्स्टेंटली गोइंग थ्रू चेंज सिंस द बिगिनिंग ऑफ टाइम सो दिस मीन्स दैट विद द चेंजिंग एनवायरमेंट द ऑर्गेनिजम्स लिविंग इन इट were also going through change to adapt to the changing environment this change is called evolution the term evolution dates from the latin evolutionem meaning unrolling or an opening of what was rolled up did you know ultimately every living thing can trace its ancestry to a bacterium that lived billions of years ago A present world originated 4.5 billion years ago. Or jo sabse pehla organism tha that is believed to be the ancestor of all life that we see on earth today. The first of our organisms are believed to be simple celled organisms or prokaryotes. Evolution is responsible for the enormous diversity and complexity of life that we see on earth. पहले सिंगल सेल्ड ऑर्गेनिजम्स होते थे फिर उनसे मल्टी सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स इवॉल्व हुए और फिर इसी तरह आहिस्ता आहिस्ता इनसे और कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिजम्स बनते गए एवोल्यूशन इज़ अ ग्रेजुअल एंड स्टिल ऑन गोइंग प्रोसेस द इंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एवोल्यूशन इज बेसिकली अ थेरी ऑफ लाइफ अ थेरी हेल्प्स टू एक्सप्लेन मैनी डिफरेंट फिनोमिना एट वंस The theory of evolution is a set of ideas which explains many observations from the study of fossils, plants, embryos, biochemistry, anatomy, and geophysics. All these observations provided the evidence that supported and lead to the belief in theory of evolution. Theory of evolution कोई नया belief नहीं है, बल्कि ये बहुत सालों से scientists believe कर रहे हैं, लेकिन इसको बहुत से controversial views भी मिले हैं. अभी भी कुछ लोग हैं जो एवोल्यूशन में बिलीव नहीं करते और वो इसको सिर्फ एक मिथ कहते हैं चार्ल्स डार्विन एंड एल्फर्ड रसल वॉलेस व द टू साइंटिस्ट दैट प्रपोज द थेरी ऑफ एवोल्यूशन इन द मिड नाइनटीन सेंचुरी एंड बेस्ड इट ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन स्टूडेंट्स आप यकीन यही सोच रहे होंगे कि यह नेचुरल सिलेक्शन क्या है It is the idea that some organisms, due to some beneficial inherited traits, are able to thrive and reproduce, and ultimately this leads to a change in the genetic makeup of that certain population. इसके बरक्स ऑर्गेनिज्म जिनके पास less favorable characteristics होते हैं, they are unable to survive the harsh environment. Darwin की book जिसका नाम था On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection. इसने सोसाइटी को बिल्कुल चेंज कर दिया लोगों की थिंकिंग ही बदल गई इस बुक के आने के बाद और चार्ल्स डार्विन ने ऐसे ही बुक नहीं लिखी बल्कि उसने प्रॉपर रिसर्च करके लिखी उसने पूरी दुनिया का एक्सपेडिशन किया और लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स को क्लोजली ऑब्जर्व किया और फिर जाके उसने अपनी थेरी दी ही ऑब्जर्व हाव डिफरेंट एनिमल्स हैड अडेप्टेड सर्टन फीचर्स दैट हेल्प एंड इंक्रीज द चांसेज ऑफ सर्वाइवल इन अ स्पेसिफिक एनवायरमेंट ही ऑब्जर्व हाव ऑर्गेनिजम्स व आइडियली शेप्ड इन अकॉर्डिंग्स टू द सराउंडिंग्स दिस फिनोमिना इज ऑल्सो हेल्प रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द ओरिजिन ऑफ स्पीशीज विच इज टर्म्ड एज स्पेशन टाइम के साथ साथ मेम्बर्स ऑफ अ स्पीशी में खुद चेंजेस आना शुरू हो जाती हैं इन फिजिकल चेंजेस को हम म्यूटेशंस कहते हैं जिन इंडिविजुअल्स में म्यूटेशंस हो जाती हैं एंड दे आर फेवरेबल टू द एनवायरनमेंट, दे आर एबल टू सरवाइव एंड मल्टीप्लाई एंड दिस अकरेंस इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल सिलेक्शन एंड दीज ट्रेट्स आर सिलेक्टेड एंड कैरीड इनटू फ्यूचर जनरेशंस। 
individuals with unfavorable mutations on the other hand are selected against meaning that these individuals have lesser chances of survival and lesser frequency of producing future generations the theory of evolution is based on the idea that all species are related and gradually changed over time according to evolution the gene distribution changes over time so we can say that evolution is basically due to inheritance of the beneficial characteristics to the offspring unfavorable characteristics lower the chances of survival and hence their characteristics are unable to be passed on to the future generation aapko pata hai kafi logon ko lagta hai ki theory of evolution ka matlab hai ki insaan apes se involve hue hain ye bilkul sach nahi hai aur na darwin ne aisa kuch kaha he only wrote that monkeys apes and humans have a common ancestor chale नेचुरल सिलेक्शन की एक एग्जाम्पल देखते हैं इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन के दौरान कुछ मॉथ्स में एक म्यूटेशन आ गई थी जिससे इनके विंग्स बहुत डार्क हो गए थे इन डार्क विंग्स की वजह से ये मॉथ्स ईजिली दरख्तों में कैमोफ्लोज हो जाती थी इसका इनको ये फ़ायदा होता था कि ये प्रिडेटर्स से छुप कर इस्केप कर जाती थी इसके बरक्स जो वाइट कलर्ड विंग्स मॉथ थी वो बेचारी पकड़ी जाती थी और मारी जाती थी या खाई जाती थी आहिस्ता आहिस्ता डार्क विंग्ड मॉथ्स के नंबर बढ़ते गए और वाइट विंग्ड मॉथ्स के नंबर डिक्रीज होने लगे और फिर एक टाइम आया जब सिर्फ डार्क विंग्ड मॉथ्स ही रहीं क्योंकि एवोल्यूशन ने इनको फेवर कर दिया ह्यूमन्स हैव बी यूजिंग एन आर्टिफिशियल प्रोसेस टू डेवलप प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स ऑफ सूटेबल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स they have used artificial selection to produce breeds of plants and animals that they use for food as domestic animals etc artificial selection is done by selecting breeding and cross breeding the meat sold today are the result of the selective breeding of chickens cattle sheep many fruits and vegetables have been improved or even created through artificial selection क्या आपको पता है अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एवोल्यूशन एट वन पॉइंट इन टाइम इवन वेल्स वॉकड ऑन लैंड हमारे पास कुछ ऐसे फीचर्स हैं जिनकी वजह से वी आर सर्वाइविंग आप फॉर एग्जांपल इमेजिन करें अगर हमारी बॉडीज बहुत मोटी हो जाएं और बाजू और टांगे बहुत ही पतले हो जाएं तो मूवमेंट कितनी मुश्किल होती है हमारे लिए और ये भी पॉसिबल होता that we wouldn't have been able to walk or eat anything and then we could have died organisms that actually do undergo this phenomena become extinct extinct is the end of a kind of organism or of a group of kinds usually a species the species or organisms that are at risk of becoming extinct are called endangered species There are now sixteen thousand three hundred and six endangered species threatened with extinction. As of twenty twenty, there are sixty eight hundred and eleven species that are considered to be critically endangered. Did you know humans share the same five fingered bone structure in their hands with lots of other animals that have paws, wings, or flippers, such as lemurs and bats. such organs are termed as homologous organs meaning the organs of different animals that have a similar structure but differ in their functions whereas analogous organs have the same functions homologous organs are believed to have a similar embryonic origin the wings of a butterfly and the wings of a bird are analogous not homologous There are also certain organs that have reduced or completely diminished functions in various animals. These are called vestigial organs. Vestigial organs ऐसे organs को कहते हैं जो पहले कभी कोई function करते थे but due to the process of evolution ये अब function नहीं करते These organs are present in a very reduced shape in animals. We can see these vestigial organs in our bodies. like a tailbone and the appendix 
the coccyx is thought to be the remnant of the tailbone and the appendix is a part of the intestine which is no longer in use wisdom tooth had also believed to be vestigial these organs have become reduced and have no functions at all darwin was not the first to propose a set of theory of evolution there are many other scientists having their own theory of evolution let's take a look at the following video to see what would happen if we suppose that evolution took only one day to happen life with an estimated 3.8 billion years of existence and evolution on earth it's an odd thing indeed so how did we get here and what would the earth's 4.5 billion year timeline look like compressed into a normal day of 24 hours the story begins early in the morning around 4 a.m with the rise of the first simple single-celled organisms however these organisms are destined to spend quite some time alone At 1 p.m., a simple cell engulfs another, creating a symbiotic relationship and the first eukaryotic cells or cells with internal organs. At 6:30 p.m., these cells begin to form colonies and thus the first multicellular life develops. But it isn't until 8:30 p.m. that sea plants appear and 20 minutes later we suddenly see animal life erupt in an explosion of inventiveness. Jellyfish, the first true vertebrates, trilobites. Incredible diversification begins to take place and just before 10 p.m., plants begin to appear on land followed by land mammals. By 10:24, the earth is covered in carboniferous forest and the first winged insects appear. Many reptiles dominate the land with less than an hour left, but a mass extinction event allows dinosaurs to storm the scene and remain until 11:41 p.m. when they too suddenly vanish. And so begins the age of mammals. In the last few minutes, apes split from the old world monkeys, and with only 1 minute and 17 seconds left before midnight, humans emerge. All of the recorded human history fits within a few seconds, an individual life lasting barely an instant. all a combination of 3.8 billion years of life this asap science video was made possible by the support of audible.com with their help we're able to continue making fun science videos and they want to give you a free audiobook audible is the internet's leading provider of audiobooks with more than 100,000 downloadable titles across all different types of literature including fiction non-fiction and periodicals just go to audible.com/asap to get a free audiobook of your choice Today's episode was inspired by the book A Short History of Nearly Everything in which Bill Bryson explores the neatest bits of science. My personal recommendation. Again, just head over to audible.com/asap to download it for free or another audiobook of your choice. And subscribe for more weekly science videos. Chale. Ab is episode ke kuch key points pe hum gaur karte hain. Number 1. Life began on earth at least 3.5 to 4 billion years ago. and it has been evolving ever since number 2 darwin stated the theory of evolution by natural selection presenting a great deal of evidence to support his theory number 3 evolution is a change in the characteristics of living things over time evolution occurs by natural selection number 4 characteristics of organisms are passed from one generation to the next through their genes अब हम अपना क्विज लेंगे टू सी वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन दिस एपिसोड टूडे नंबर वन डैश इज अ विस्टेजियल ऑर्गन ऑप्शन नंबर ए इंटेस्टाइनल विला ऑप्शन नंबर बी पैपले ऑप्शन नंबर सी वर्मी फॉर्म अपेंडिक्स ऑप्शन नंबर डी नन ऑफ द अब द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी वर्मी फॉर्म अपेंडिक्स Question number two: Which of the following are homologous organs? Option number A: Human arm, bird wing. Option number B: Insect wing, bird wing. Option number C: Dog leg, spider leg. Option number D: None of the above. The correct answer is option number A: Human arm, bird wing. Question number three. Darwin's primary contribution to biological theory was the idea that option number A an important mechanism of biological evolution is natural selection option number B new alleles arise through mutation option number C evolution is the change in gene frequencies over time option number D genes are the units of inheritance 
the correct answer is option number a an important mechanism of biological evolution is natural selection question number 4 the theory of evolution by natural selection was independently developed by option number a charles lyell and charles darwin option number b charles darwin and alfred wallace option number c erasmus darwin and lamarck option number d charles lyell and james hutton the correct answer is option number b charles darwin and alfred wallace that's all for today's lesson take care and remember to always stay curious